Hey, this is Ben, and today we're going to be taking a look at our portable Mr. Arcade that my daughter Mag and I made. So, let me give you a little background story of why we decided to make this. So, a few months back, I decided to, to work on a Neo Geo arcade um, that always has been one of my favorite arcades, and I thought it'd be fun to kind of have that arcade experience at home. So what we did is bought some parts from a big red Neo Geo arcade and consoleized it. We made it to a small project so we could play it and hook it up to our TV. And then with that, I built a controller to hook directly into that to have that arcade experience. And after we completed that, we really enjoyed it. And I started thinking, well, what would be like another good arcade project? And I was thinking about some of my favorite arcades and it really started to make me think of Capcom, the CPS uh, 2 and started looking into that, realizing kind of how much that would cost to start to buy individual PCBs and consoleize all those. And then I started to look towards the Mister. With the Mister, you have that opportunity to um, accurately emulate hardware, and it's cycle accurate when you're playing. And I was thinking, well, maybe that's a good solution as, to buy, as opposed to buying all these individual arcade boards just to play one game or a few games that I may like. And so once I became familiarized with the Mister, then I decided, well, I'm going to build a portable arcade unit that's a six button, and I'll be able to place the Mr. inside of it and play these games. And so that's about why we built it. And now I kind of want to talk about like what it does. So again, now we have a portable unit with a Mr. inside of it with these arcade, true arcade controls hooked directly to it. And that allows us to just pull this out, pull it out from the closet, hook it up to the TV, and then we can play. This unit is an arcade control panel kit from Game Room Solutions and we customized the way it looked so it would match a Street Fighter II New Challengers arcade as you can see here. Next is the brains of the project and that is a Mr. DE10 Nano with the USB board. We used IL Euro sticks for the arcade sticks. And then for our buttons we used the IL Convex buttons uh, purchased from this eBay seller right here. To connect that to the board we have our micro pro micro USB boards and we purchased DuPont connectors to connect to that micro USB board, followed by a power unit for the back of it to switch it on. And this is the HDMI and USB output. This is HDMI 1.4. And then this is an optional thing, a SNES controller if you want to, uh, to have a little bit of uh, other controlling options. So here's a, a view of the inside of the panel. You can see it looks pretty messy because there's a lot going on in here. You can see all the switches. And in a second, we're gonna take a closer look uh, but you can see we have the D10 Nano Mister in the middle, the power cord on the left. Again, here's more close-up uh, view of that. And you can see in the corner right here is the Pro Micro USB board connected to the Mister with a micro to USB cable purchased from Mono Price. And there's the Super Nintendo uh, wireless 8-bit DO controller. So all you have to do is plug it in, plug it into the back. Then you're gonna be plugging in your HDMI cord flipping that middle switch to turn it on, and that's it. That's all you have to do to get this going, and it's hooked up and ready to go. After you put all those pieces together, this is what you're left with. I know that's an oversimplification, and it took us a few weekends of working on this for a few hours at a time to get this together, but now that it's together, it's really nice to have this plug-and-play solution that we just pull out of the closet, plop down on a couple uh, coffee table uh, ends, and we'll just play and it gives us a lot of options between different games. And you know, you also can do console games if you want to, and that's what's nice about having that 8-bit dough receiver inside, is you could just turn this on and do this the entire controlling uh, via like that Super Nintendo controller. You don't even have to use the arcade sticks or buttons if you don't want to. Another option to have uh, more players is with that Super Nintendo controller or any other, that can be your third player if you're playing a three player arcade game and, and so on with how many USB ports that we have uh, at our disposal. So hope you liked uh, what you saw here. We're gonna list the different parts that we used in the description so you can get a hold of these. And uh, thanks again for checking it out.